You know, traveling with you has been something else. But the best part is when we're charting course for the next jump. I never feel at home planet side. How about you? Now that's the right answer there. <laughs> I figured you were a kindred spirit. See, the people I don't get are the ones who never go anywhere. They stay in their own hometown, they just live and die there. There is a whole galaxy full of wonder and things you could never imagine. How can they be satisfied with one tiny sliver of it? I mean, you're right, but... There are unfortunates that have little to no choice in anything, and they have my sympathy. But there are so many people that think it's out of reach when it isn't. I think everyone should at least get out once. And go someplace, meet people. Get out of your comfort zone so you can really see that the worlds are more than just little issues and bickering. There is a mess of ugly out there, but my god, there is grandeur too. That helps you understand how this crazy place fits together. Never thought of it that way. I want to be the co that finds something deep out there. Solomon got us here in a big way. I'd like to discover something that moves people. It makes them feel just a bit of what I feel when I jump systems. Not knowing what's next. Exactly. Then you are a glutton for punishment. <laughs> but I do love the way you listen. Yeah, you know, it's funny, as much as Jacob, my dad, cashes in on the family name, he's got no adventure in him. And I get it. It's dangerous, sometimes scary out there. But that's what exploration is. Going off the map and seeing if there truly be dragons. Not one drop. He's always been about making deals, keeping goods moving. Despite his many, many flaws, I think deep down, he is trying to do good for Aquila City. But if you're gonna be name dropping Solomon all the damn time, you should act a little more like him. On it. I couldn't ask for better company. <laughs>